Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on the uh, search functions and features of the public CNL inventory. Now the public uh, inventory is a database of all classification and labeling elements from notifications received during the CNL notification process. And uh, I'm mainly going to focus on the search functions uh, in this tutorial. Now there are a number of ways to search for your substance or the classification that you're, that you're interested in. The simplest way is, of course, just to type in a substance name, and let's do that. Uh, sulfuric acid. Uh, the, well, there is one thing. You need to uh, read and accept uh, the legal disclaimer. You can do that by taking this textbook. And if we scroll down, you can see that uh, the search for sulfuric acid uh, gives us 26 results. Uh, we can search, uh, sort the results uh, based on the index number by clicking this button, or the EEC number, or the CAS number, or even the name. Uh, the name displayed is usually the uh, either the Annex 6 uh, index name or the EEC name, but uh, in the absence of those two, we display uh, the UPAC name. You can further refine your results by combining the uh, substance name results uh, search function with the classification search. Uh, if, for instance, you are interested in uh, all substances containing sulfuric acid, which classify uh, as corrosive to skin in either category 1A or 1B, we can select those two from the list, skin corrosion 1A, and you select 1B by pressing and, uh, control and pressing skin corrosion 1B and search. But if we wanted to search for a single substance, uh, which we know the identity of, uh, the simplest way would be to type in a numerical identifier. Those can be either the uh, Annex 6 index number or the EC number or the CAS number. If you type, for instance, in 215-105, Dash five, we get a single substance, caustic soda or sodium hydroxide. Uh, in order to view uh, the summary of the substance, we click on this uh, icon here in the view section, and up pops a new window with the summary of uh, this particular substance. Uh, the, at first, if the substance has a harmonized classification uh, on Annex 6 of the COP regulation, it is listed first. And as you can see, uh, sodium hydroxide has a harmonized classification. If we're not interested in that, we can close it by pressing this icon here. And then we have the notified classification and labeling. Uh, the Notifications received for this uh, for each substance are aggregated, uh, so identical notifications are aggregated together, and the number of notifiers is uh, indicated uh, with the aggregation. And as you can see, uh, the highest number of notifiers notify a skin corrosion one A. Uh, there are fourteen hundred thirty-seven notifiers that notify like this. If you are interested in the classification that uh, is derived from the registration dossier, you can see that it is highlighted with a green tick mark here. So this particular cl uh, not classification is derived from the registration dossier uh, for this substance. The UPAC names notified for these uh, for this substance are listed here and they can be multiple and in multiple languages. Uh, but the view button here would give you the details of each individual notification and that opens up in a new window as well and as you can see this is the notification that was aggregated and notified by these 1400 individual notifiers at first there is a summary uh, but if you scroll down we can see the more detailed information on the classification and labeling uh, we do not use uh, reason for no classification as an aggregation factor. So uh, those uh, that are listed here are notified. Some notifiers notify data lacking for explosives, for instance, uh, others inconclusive, and yet others conclusive but not sufficient for classification. 
But if we scroll down further, we see the more details and this indeed is only skin corrosion 1A. So uh, this concludes our short tutorial on the basic functions of the public inventory. But uh, for further information and more details, uh, you can uh, read our question and answer sheet as well as a fact sheet, which is uh, which are both available on our website. Thank you.